coming. Good. Found him. I was trying to stop that man from choking. Yeah, this is really important. You got your machine set for X to die? Yeah. It'll flatline in exactly 15 minutes. Shh, everyone, get ready, get ready. Is he gonna be okay? I'm... I'm afraid his injuries are very serious. <laughs> they don't think he's gonna make it. What in the name of Nancy is going on here? I'll leave you and Rex alone so you can say your goodbyes. <laughs> Thing you caused this. Oh. And I just really need the comfort of a woman. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know. It's bad. Aisle 18 is clear. Go ahead and lock it down. Copy that. You want to get some food at BF Wang's? Yeah, I'm up for some Wang Wings. I'll go ahead and set the alarm. See you in the parking lot in 45 seconds. Want to go sniff the scented candles with me? Yeah. This is gonna be the most fun night ever. We can go play with security your security system on. Pretty. Come on, driving went back was that bad? Bad? I got in a fight with four idiotic girls. My nose really hurts. You took on four girls? Yes. Oh, and one of them bit my elbow. Now I'm probably gonna get Northridge fever. Anyway, thanks for giving me a ride to school. Ain't no problem. Anytime you need a ride, just know you can call Andre! Me. I can't find my contact lens! Grandma, you don't wear contacts. Then where are my glasses? They're on your face. Was I talking to you? I don't think I was! Grandma, please just eat your oatmeal. Okay, Andre! So, your grandma rides to school with you every day? If you don't like it, why don't you drive yourself? I don't have my driver's license. <laughs> grandma, finish your breakfast. Eat your muffin. Okay, Andre. I gotta find my muffin. Girl! Would you hold my oatmeal for me? Sure. Put your hands out. Okay. Oh. Why did you do that? You said you'd hold my oatmeal. Why didn't you just hand me the mug? I'm not letting you touch my mug. Uh, you want to ride tomorrow morning? Nope. Large scary lady coming, large scary lady coming. Great. It's the one you called big and stupid the other day. Whatever, I'm not scared of this chick. So, do I still look big and stupid? All right, listen, hot stuff. You better just turn yourself around and walk away from me, because we're gonna... I like it on the ground. She's my friend. Yeah, we're we're super close. <laughs> you are lucky. I made a can. I didn't need your help. She would have eaten you. She wouldn't have liked it. 
Jade, your outfit's all dirty. Oh, no. No, I'll never win the prison beauty pageant. Wait, they have that? Where have you been? I joined the prison gang. What do you mean? Well, this group of really mean, tough prison ladies said I'm cute and funny, so they invited me to join their prison gang. What? And you said yes? Uh-huh. I told the gang ladies I'm going to make us all special T-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> ah, there she is. Uh... Tori. Tori, right. I'm sorry. I spit on you. That's OK. Patrice, this is your stunt double. Hi. I'm going to fall off your chair. I appreciate it. OK, is this our girl? Yeah. Tori, this is our stunt coordinator, Jean. Good to meet you. Really simple stunt. Right, it's a simple stunt. Got your chair right here. My chair right there. What you gonna sit on? I sit on it. When the director calls action, you just fall off the chair. I fall off the chair. And through that railing, drop 40 feet and hit the ground down there. <laughs> through the, and drop, and hit the, <gasps> the, I have to fall all the way down there? Onto the air sac. I just don't miss the sack, like the last stunt double. Get Come out of here! <laughs> wait, 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 the last stunt double missed the sack. Just by a few feet. Hey, put the air sack in the right place this time, would you? <laughs> Get that dried blood off the floor! <gasps> Roger. <sighs> it's time to play. That's right. Live from Northridge, it's Queries for Couples. We're not really a couple. Shush. Now, say hello to our query girl, Trina Vega. You're not supposed to talk. I'll talk if I want to talk. <laughs> OK. Let's take a look at our first query for couple number one. Andre, cat has bad breath. <gasps> it's just pretend. <laughs> Do you A, tell her she has bad breath, B, ignore it because you love her, or C, dump her? Cat, go ahead and use your corded remote to secretly choose what you think Andre's answer should be. OK. B! Cat, you don't say it out loud. That's OK. This is just rehearsal. Andre, your answer. I'm going to go with B. Yay! Please, now don't start something you can't finish. You got to finish writing your song, the chorus. Yeah, it's after midnight. Let's just bail. Uh-huh. You got a break. Now finish writing the chorus. I've been trying to finish it for three hours. Wow, great. Now I uh, shut up and sing something. Uh, uh, Keep going. Uh, I really wish that I could write the next line. Uh, my favorite letter's J. Tuna fish filet. I'm gonna wash my dog with some blue shampoo. All right, let me try something. Record me. All right. Here you go. There is no upper hand, I'm giving you mine. It doesn't have to end up wasting your time. There's things that I could say, but here in my way, I want to let you know that it's all OK. What'd you think? You like that? 
Scissoring. Yes, yes. How many times is the word scissors spoken? I don't know. Who would know that? Uh, Wrong. No, do not doink me. That's another hundred points for the blue team. <laughs> and Jade, I'm afraid you're a victim of assault and battery. What does that mean? Batteries. I know what they were. Why'd you drop them on me? She got the answer wrong. Good point. More batteries! What are you... Yeah! Hi, kids! Apparently, we're the Diddly Bops. We're here to sing you a special song. All about your favorite foods. Sing about dinosaurs. No! <laughs> now get ready! What I like about cheese is that you can put it on veggies and it tastes mm -mm, so good. It's my favorite thing to do. Ooh. Every treat from yellow to blue. Ooh. Red and green, so let's all sing. Tell me all about your favorite food. Mine is pizza. And I like hamburgers, too. I'll eat ice cream cake till my tummy aches. But then here's what I'll do. 
do. Here's what I'll do. Share some of mine with you. Yummy, yummy. Ooh. In my tummy. Ooh. Yummy, yummy. Take this. Thousand bucks. Not enough. <laughs> well, I like noodles in a bowl. A chicken nuggets make me lose control. Because they taste. So good. Yeah! I'll eat ice cream cake till my tummy aches. But then here's what I'll do. Here's what I'll do. Share some of mine with you. Yummy, yummy. Ah! How do I see out of this thing? Oh, you just look through the periscope. Right here. This seems dangerous. Oh, you big baby. Come on, let's get to that parade before the sun comes up. She had six fingers on one hand. Yep, she could swim like a torpedo. Okay, hang on, everybody. There we go! Ah! Oh, <laughs> Are we moving? Yep, we're moving. Can it go any faster? Sure, if we were being towed by something that goes faster. The wheels on the cupcake spin around. Spin around, spin around. The wheels on the cupcake spin around. Uh, um. I feel like you did that on purpose. I will buy you another one if you call Tori and find out where she and Becca are. If you want to know so bad, why don't you call Tori? Because she won't tell me if I ask. Okay. Please stop. Am I in trouble? Give me your phone. Okay. Good. Now lean towards me and put your head on my shoulder. Sure. Don't fight it, don't fight it. Oh, it's Kat. Hello? Hi! <laughs> hey, Kat, what's up? Are you and Beck having fun? <laughs> yeah, but you know, not too much fun. <laughs> <laughs> so where are you guys right now? Uh, we're at some food truck near Melrose and La Brea. Now I was in the brand, okay. Hey, so what are you up to tonight? Bye! <laughs> <laughs> Melrose in the Brea, here we come. You didn't sound anything like me. Tori believed it was you. You didn't get my laugh right. Yeah, I did. You go. <laughs> I don't laugh like that. Puppies wearing sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. Hey! Oh. You and I need to talk. Okay, what do you want to talk about? You yanked my arm. Are you sassing me? Okay, that's it. What? I am sassing you. Sass, 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 sass. Andre! Look, I don't mean to wreck your birthday, but I don't want to go out with you anymore. Are, are you trying to dump me? Well, yeah, if that's cool with you. It is not cool. You are not going to embarrass me at my own sushi birthday party. What does sushi got to do with it? You want to break up tomorrow? Fine. But tonight, you are my boyfriend, and you're going to perform a song at my party like you promised. Hey, how we doing? Shut up! Did 
Did you hear what just happened? I tried to dump her. Yeah, you did the right thing. And she still wants me to sing in front of a daddy. Stop! 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 Oh, wait! Wait! Tori! Tori, tell this man you know me! And you are? <laughs> there, cat. There, Mona Patterson's front door. Yeah, there aren't any flowers or cards or anything, see? No one cares that she died. Yeah, it's so sad. Now light your dumb candle and let's get out of here. Okay, okay. I thought you were all psyched to come here and breathe in the fumes of Mona's lingering soul. Well, it's hard to enjoy it when my pants are soggy. I feel like I should say a few words about it. Hurry. Mona Patterson. I'm so sorry you died. I used to love watching you when I married my mom, and I... And... Go finish for her. Go I don't... to her. <laughs> and... Mona. Your memory will live forever in your work on television, where you showed us all how funny and awkward it is when you marry your own mother. Amen. Let's go. Come on. Don't you think we should just wait one more minute? Who's out here? <laughs> I'm sure she's not dead. Don't poke that. It was 1934 when my husband left me. Alone. Living on the prairie was a dreary existence. No telephone, no radio. Only a large, majestic bird with whom I shared my feelings. You see the bird, too, right? Yeah. Fantastic. One day, when I was feeling low, I said to him, Oh, bird, you can fly. You can soar miles from this lonely place, yet you stay. Why? Why? And apparently, my question rang true. For that afternoon, my bird left. And so went my spirit. That was impressive. So did I get it right? Nope. <laughs> but, but I just, I, I, I did too get it right. Tori, listen. I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but do you know how hard I worked on the scene? I made this costume. I downloaded special prairie music. I even trained that crazy cockatoo to fly in and out of that window on command. Uh... Not now. <laughs> Look, I know you're a great acting teacher and everything, but I don't care what you say. The scene I just did was good. And I'm proud of it, no matter what anybody thinks. <laughs> what? You just passed the bird scene! But, but you said... Tori, the whole point of the bird scene is to teach a performer like yourself to believe in your own choices, no matter what others think. We are artists, and a true artist does not define success based on <laughs> approval from others. A true artist need only please himself, or herself, or its self. You don't know what I got. 